Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And after Trump sat down with Tucker Carlson and had a great conversation with him, CNN has quickly jumped on, and of course, the rest of the mainstream media, along with Kamala Harris, uh, on a segment where Trump was basically saying, hey, uh, Liz Cheney wants to go to war while well, she should be on the front lines. And those, that goes for the rest of the swamp who wants to send our young men and women to the front lines and go fight these wars as they sit back and get rich off these wars. Maybe she would think th differently if she had nine barrels facing toward her. Uh, maybe she wouldn't want to start those wars, right? And that it was Donald Trump's point, and we'll see that full clip here in just a minute. But CNN's having an absolute meltdown. I don't know when the mainstream media became such uh, war simps uh, or the Democrat Party became such war simps. Uh, these warmongers like Dick Cheney and Liz Cheney, all of a sudden they want their endorsements. They want George W. Bush who helped lead us into war. Many of those old Democrats who let us lead into war where we have thousands of our soldiers, young men's lives and or dramatically changed because of uh, being wounded over there. Uh, only uh, All predicated on a lie, mind you. Um, and the only candidate we have running for election right now is is a uh, who is against getting into any more conflicts is Donald J. Trump. Everyone else wants to move us into a war with uh, into a war with Iran, a war with Russia, a war with China uh, because it's beneficial for them. That's why we have these are having these proxy wars like right now, like we have in Israel and Palestine, and we have in Ukraine and Russia and the the, tense, uh, the tensity of what's happening in twi Taiwan and China, right? It's all because they want to move us into these areas because we're funneling money into these areas because we want to eventually move our troops there in order to go ahead and fight these wars. And this is what these uh, people like Liz Cheney, uh, Kamala Harris, and the rest of the bunch wants to hear. So let's go ahead and take a look at this clip from CNN as I laid this groundwork for you of how they react after listening to Donald Trump. And we're going to listen to the full clip too because we're going to add context to it, right? Unlike what CNN's doing. Uh, I don't think you even need to call it fire to He's saying quite explicitly and unambiguously that Liz Cheney should be shot, should be executed by firing squad. No, he's not. Four days out from election day and former President Donald Trump is escalating his violent rhetoric, suggesting one of his most prominent critics, the former pro Congresswoman Liz Cheney, should be fired upon. Your reaction to uh, what Donald Trump said about Liz Cheney. Yeah, well, look, I mean, it was completely inappropriate, dangerous, and unbecoming of a leader. Mr. Trump was literally going after someone who doesn't agree with him. So you shouldn't be a surprise when people come on TV and feel the need to agree with him. Oh, nine man. barrels, when he says nine barrels shooting at her, that obviously evokes images of a firing squad. It, it evokes images of an execution. Let's execute a political opponent who happens to be a woman um, because I don't like her. And like, does that pull more low propensity voters in his coalition to the polls? I, I honestly don't think so. And I don't blame him for sticking with his daughter, but his daughter is a very dumb individual, very dumb. She's a radical war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrels shooting at her, okay? Let's see how she feels about it. You know, when the guns are trained on her face. You know, they're all war hawks when they're sitting in Washington in a nice building saying, oh, gee, Will, let's uh, send, uh, send 10,000 troops right into the mouth of the yep. enemy. But she's a stupid person. And, and Trump's right, and absolutely right. And, of course, they take, the, uh, take this right of right out of context and tried to paint Trump as saying that he wants to put Liz Cheney in the firing squad. And even though I believe they are war criminals, I think they should go ahead and answer for their crimes and be held accountable for their crimes. And what is the punishment for those crimes of being a traitor to your country? Well, yeah, it might be a fire squad or a hanging thing, right? But these people will uh, always vote to send your kids to die. They will always send What's the saying? Old men start wars and young men have to find them, right? That's their mantra. As they get rich, these young men never come back the same because they're fighting these wars that are started by these uh, uh, these warmongers, these war hawks like Liz Cheney and, and her dad, Dick Cheney. Uh, so, yeah, uh, don't get get off your high horses over there. And, and this is this is so dumb. 
of CNN. This is their closing arguments, by the way. They're, of course, they're doing this as in in kind contributions to the Democrat Party to Kamala Harris's campaign. These are worth millions of dollars to sit here and try to paint Trump as the wrong choice for America and, and going all in on the cheerleading for Kamala Harris. This is absolutely. Uh, I hope they lose their licenses. I hope they all lose their licenses uh, because they should not be allowed to uh, be like this, the way they are trying to give information, which is not correct information to the American people. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys follow me on all my social media, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.